Hi friends, welcome to Introducing. My name is Irina and I work at the National Portrait Gallery, where we share the stories of people who have helped shape the United States. Each week for Introducing, we shine a light on some of this country's history makers and their portraits. Just like reading a book, looking at a portrait can tell a story too. This week, I want to introduce you to Leah Chase. Let's take a look at her portrait. Leah Chase stands in a white apron with a pink hat. And can you see what she's doing? The title of this portrait is called Cutting Squash. Can you spot the squash in this portrait? What other foods can you spot in this portrait? Leah Chase was an activist and a celebrated chef who was known as the queen of Creole cooking. Creole cuisine is a style or method of cooking that was created in New Orleans, Louisiana. Creole food is a blend of various cultures of New Orleans including Italian, Spanish, African, German, Caribbean, Native American, and Portuguese, just to name a few. Leah Chase was known for cooking foods like fried chicken and gumbo. Gumbo is a stew or a thick soup usually made with vegetables and meat or seafood. Have you ever had gumbo or fried chicken? Leah Chase grew up in Madisonville, Louisiana, and was the second oldest of 13 children. Throughout her life, and especially as a child, Leah Chase experienced racism and faced segregation. Segregation is a practice in which people are separated based on race. Black children like Leah Chase were not allowed to do many things with white children. They were not allowed to eat together, take the same bus, or go to school with each other. And because her town did not have high schools for black children, Leah Chase moved to New Orleans, Louisiana with her aunt. It is there in New Orleans that she took her first job at a restaurant. Can you tell where Leah Chase might be in this portrait? There are many pots and pans and utensils all around her. There's even a stove here in the background and it looks like a sink too. She's in a kitchen. Does this kitchen look like your kitchen? Maybe it has some similar things. Maybe it also has some different things. Artist Gustav Blosch III captures Leah Chase at work, cooking in her restaurant kitchen. As an adult, Leah Chase met and married musician Edgar Duki Chase. Duki Chase was a jazz musician and owned a sandwich shop with his parents. Leah Chase worked in the sandwich shop and soon she encouraged the Chases to expand their shop and make it into a finer restaurant called Dookie Chases Restaurant. In a time where black people and white people were not allowed to eat at the same restaurant, Dookie Chases Restaurant in New Orleans became the first upskill restaurant where blacks could gather to eat. Dookie Chases became a meeting place for many leaders and activists of the civil rights movement. Diners knew that at Leah Chase's restaurant, they were safe. Leah Chase also hosted voter registration meetings, which encouraged people to register to vote. During this era, Blacks were often blocked and turned away from voting because white people didn't want Blacks to have any say in their country or any political power. 
Leah Chase brought people together through food. She said, food builds bridges. In my dining room, we changed the course of America over a bowl of gumbo and some fried chicken. Like Leah Chase exclaimed, food and especially eating a meal together often brings people together. Do you have any memories of your family or friends eating a meal together? What did you talk about? What did you eat? Leah Chase cooked food for people, strangers and friends alike, for around 70 years. And it's thanks to her love and commitment to her community that her food and restaurant continue to play a vital role in New Orleans even today, after Leah Chase passed in 2019. And Dookie Chase's restaurant is still serving food and bringing people together. So thank you so much for listening to Introducing Leah Chase today, and we hope to see you right back here next time.